So guys, welcome to the match of Mercury versus Nexel, the first NSL Invitational Cup match um, of the day, along with all the others that are streaming right now. So, we are on the map summit, and it looks like <coughs> the Marines have started up in Atrium, and aliens in sub-access. We're seeing kind of a big push by Mercury to crossroads at this point. Seeing a push in crossroads, about three skulks there, meeting Nexel's Marines, and they just get eaten alive at this point. Garfu goes down. Bitey seems to be trying to fend himself off from these two skulks. They're very low on health. He might actually do this. And he does. What great shooting from Bitey at this point. And we're seeing that an early RT that has been dropped in Reactor Core um, is being eaten by Zoops at this point. They're going to try to deny them a few resources right in the beginning. Um, as we see, the resource counter, nothing has been destroyed yet, though. We have a Marine Garfu coming into Reactor Core to stop Zups from taking him down, and he might actually uh, end up blocking him off. We see an expansion coming in to Data Core at this point. Nexel rushing in uh, and securing that RT there. Gliss and Gorgeous uh, moving into Pipe Junction. Drifters there. We have a Hydra Wall built by Chicken, so they have completely walled off this area of the map. Uh, and it looks like Zups killed that Marine that was trying to help him, and that extractor goes down. Uh, two Skulks coming into Crossroads at this point. We see that it's trying to be built by Garfu. There's drifters all over the map, if you guys can see this drifter right here. Um, so the battlefield intel that the alien commander is getting is uh, just massive. I'm seeing them all over the place. And... We are seeing some skulks coming, uh, just giving some pressure to flight control at this point. I'm trying to think about how the Marines at this point um, are thinking to expand. As far as upgrades, we only see mines at this point. Uh, they were sitting on five RTs with one loss. But the aliens are making it hard to expand uh, anywhere, left or right. I think a concerted effort really needs to be made uh, by these uh, by Nexel uh, as to what side of the map uh, you should go on, especially if you don't have phase gate. And Blink just goes down in flight control um, by those three skulks, and that RT is going down. We see Armor 1 has just started. Um, that's going to help the Marines a little bit with bite damage. However, we're seeing uh, a fight here in Computer Lab. Uh, Garfu taking on some Mercury Skulks. So far, this match uh, has leaned a little bit early game into uh, for the aliens uh, at this point. They seem to be doing a very good job uh, in terms of map control for units. Oh, we're seeing a nice push from Nexel. Finally, they grouped up and they're going together uh, into Data Core. And we see a ambush set up there by Mercury. One Marine goes down and the ambush kind of fails. Two Marines still alive. They're pushing into Data Core and they are setting up an armory. This is going to be their second base. They're going to lock off uh, Atrium. Uh, which means they're going to lock off Reactor Core and, and Data Core. And who knows if they want to try to get Crossroads, which is that center control on, on Summit that you can kind of hit from anywhere. But it's very hard for Marines to hold Data Core, or I'm sorry, Crossroads, uh, when they don't have Phase Gates. And we're seeing Armor 1 is almost done. We see Welders has been done. Uh, and we see Carapace as far as upgrades for the Aliens. Uh, we're seeing a push here by Nexel in Summit Reception. Weapons 1 has started for the Marines. That's going to help them definitely in their shots. Great shot by Bidey on Era, And they're just pounding into Crossroads right now, fixing that uh, RT. That Drifter is still there, folks. Um, so they know. And it's going to get... Uh, and it doesn't get bumped, which is great. So it must have just went right under it. Uh, we're seeing a fight here in Flight Control. Garfu versus two Mercury Skulks. Fix and Llama, and he goes down. No help there. We're seeing a push in Computer Lab. Bitey and Gorgeous helping on Computer Lab, and Era and Chicken and Fix. Oh man, these guys are in trouble. Llama is coming in. Four Skulks 
and a, or three skulks and a gorge just are taking down this marine push. We see some health packs being dropped, but it's definitely going to prove to not be enough for the marines. And we're seeing the um, the cis train kind of moving into flight control. As you can see, it's being dropped. Uh, and it looks like flight control is going to be their second base. Uh, RTs in crossroads is going to go down by ERA, which is uh, going to get up another tick for Marine RTs. They're going to lose two uh, versus three for um, the aliens. And Garfu comes in at the last minute. We're 12% left. ERA must be really pissed. And yes, that's exactly what I would do. Go after the RT and just sacrifice myself, but you at least got the RT. Um, so four destroyed. Uh, for the aliens and one destroyed for the marines. Uh, we're seeing the flight control hive has been dropped. It's in trouble. This is not good. Garfu, gorgeous and bitey from Nexel coming in. We got two lurks. Oh, and the hive goes down. Flight control hive is down. That is a 40 resource hit to uh, the aliens. Uh, poor Mercury for dropping that and not having it secure. Uh, what a what a resource hit on that, and we see that they are down to 20 resources, 30 resources on the green side. Uh, as far as upgrades go, uh, as far as upgrades go, folks, we see armor two being researched. We see shotguns are done, weapons one is done. Uh, the Marines are one one right now, and they are just moving in from crevice. Garfu, bitey, and gorgeous. Uh, we see crossroads. Um, uh, Crossroads has been claimed, as in it's just been dropped. The blueprints have just been dropped. We see um, those guys that I was just following run into Crossroads. That's what I said, guys. They're going to try to get Crossroads and link these up uh, with phase gates. So now the tables have kind of turned. Um, the, if the Marines now um, are definitely having a better game uh, at this point in terms of map control. The aliens are getting beat back. Um, quite frequently at this point. We see that observatory just went down, so we might see phase gates uh, at this point. Crevice RT for the Marines is going down by Icefield and Fix. Uh, that is definitely going to go down. I don't see anyone coming to help except from Summit Reception. Gorgeous and Garfu oh, coming up, but those uh, those lurks, especially in Crevice, are pretty hard to hit because of all that open area, uh, but they are just not going to commit to that fight and go, and that RT actually did survive. 33%. Good job on the Marines there. We see some harassment in the main base from these lurks. As you know, lurks are really great at harassment. Versul bites it uh, from Icefield, and these lurks just do their harassment and leave and they just hit a mine. They're going through the vents right now. Uh, great mine placement. Almost killed him, but didn't. Uh, we see a push in sub axis, which is their main base. Gliss and Blink um, from Nexel are in there. They just are killing the upgrades. Carapace upgrade has been lost. Uh, we see Era and Llama and Zoops in there, and Gliss and Blink are going to back off that direction um, to try to make sure that they can be ready for another push. These guys right here are basically... Um, going to stay and maybe try to push those Marines a little bit further out um, at this point. They are in ventilation. They just killed that RT that's in there. They're making a mess of things uh, in ventilation for the aliens. Zoops knows that they're there. He hears them uh, killing up those clogs. Um, and he's just not going to engage uh, with those Marines. And Carapace has uh, been dropped and started researching again. We see uh, the aliens do know that they are set up in Crossroads. Not a big base in Crossroads. Uh, we're just seeing a command center and an RT. But uh, my, I guarantee you that we're going to see a phase gate there and an armory. That is going to be a main push for the Marines. I've seen in other games as well... I've seen uh, the definitely robotics factory, prototype lab, all being dropped in crossroads because it's that central access point to the entire map that you can get those those types of units, exos and uh, and arcs through the map pretty quickly. Uh, so we're seeing a push from Nexel into computer lab. What great play from Nexel turning the tables and keeping the pressure on the aliens. It now looks like Mercury. Oh, what great shotgun blast there. That RT is going to be in trouble at 69%. They are going to take that down, especially with uh, weapons one, shotgun blast, 25% and that is going to go down. Those Marines are going to move into sub-access. We see Leap being started. Um, 
because the flight control hive uh, has been dropped and is built. We see Chicken there helped out with the build of that, crags uh, being built around it to kind of help, and those Marines are uh, from Computer Lab are pushing into flight control, doing a really good job keeping Mercury away and at arm's length and killing all those skulls. Guys, just look at all these blue kills on the top right of your screen. But it proved to not be enough uh, for those uh, for those guys. Uh, in trouble, sub-access, which is their main hive, 55% down uh, on the hive. We see a scan coming down. Uh, this could be it for this hive. Um, Mercury just can't do anything with lower life forms at this point. Leap is just about done right now. Zoops is going to back off. Era just bit it. 21% on this hive. This hive is definitely going to go down. We've got more Marines coming in from Previs. That hive is down. sub -access is down. 40 resource loss. Craig hive loss. If we just, the resource uh, count at this point, 5-5 five, five RTs down, and we're seeing the, the resource towers and the resource uh, collected from these two teams, Aliens, uh, definitely b lagging behind Nexel at this point. Nexel just playing a great game, fighting on two fronts, uh, which when you're playing against an Alien team is always a good idea, especially if you have um, really good shots on your team, because, you know, two people can equal four people if they are very, very, very good aim, and that could be very dangerous uh, for the Aliens, and we're seeing that most of the Alien team four of them at least, is here for the push. We see that Gorge go down, Wild Chicken is down, uh, and they're trying to make a push against these Marines, and it looks like it's going to be successful. Um, the, the aliens are still sitting on no upgrades. We see a little bit of a Hydra farm here as a, li a little bit of defense. Uh, Crossroads RT is almost down 4%, and it is down, it looks like Crossroads uh, Command Center is going to be the next target for uh, Mercury. And we see that phase gate up in uh, ventilation linking to the main base. And they are getting another one up in sub-access. That's really close to each other. I'm pretty sure that they're going to recycle that one because they don't really need it. Uh, though they will take over sub-access well, once they clear all the infestation. We see a big uh, skull push coming into crevice at this point. Bitey and Gorgeous trying to hold off this massive wall of skulks coming at them. And they take one down. Uh, but it proves to not be enough uh, and too much, so that RT in Crevice is going to be in trouble. Uh, another RT in uh, Computer Lab for the Aliens is in trouble. Uh, the resource flow here is definitely in favor for uh, Nexel at this point. They're playing such a, a great game, especially now with the phase gates out. We see Armor 3 going up. Weapons 2 was researched already, so they're going to be 2-3 pretty soon. Upgrade to Advanced Armory, that is definitely going to be starting soon. Um, we are going to maybe see, um, you know, Prototype Lab or some higher weapons being dropped uh, and research so flamethrowers and grenade launchers. Uh, we see a fade on the field, finally a higher life form on the field, and that would be ERA. Um, and he is just going to try to take down these Marines one by one. However, um, due to the resource flow or lack thereof for the aliens, he better be careful because if he loses that fade, that's going to be very costly to the aliens. Blinking in, taking, taking, excuse me, taking out Garfu. Big alien push here in Computer Lab. It looks like they're going to want uh, sub access back if they keep continue pushing from here. But they're saving that RT. Wow, what a great standoff, and it's just chicken left in there. He's just going to back off a little bit. We're seeing uh, the aliens try to expand in the crossroads, but denied by Nexel. They have a phase gate and an armory. Told you guys, phase gate and armory going up in crossroads. They're going to hold that. If you see what they're doing here, guys, if we just look at the map, they have blocked off literally the entire right side of the map here and now we're seeing a big push the aliens know they cannot let them have uh this base here and it is definitely going to go down that is almost the entire team uh at this point it is the entire team there is no alien commander as you can see on the right side that phase gate is going to go down and they are going to deny them that which is a very very smart move from mercury if they if they didn't do that um, the, the Marines would have just completely blocked off the east side of the map. And we're seeing a push from Nexel. They are duking it out here in Crossroads. They want Crossroads. They know they need it in, in order to block off the right side there. 
Um, and the aliens have been pushed out. Oh my god, that phase gate is gonna go back up. What uh, what a damaging push for the aliens to lose uh, those units, only for it to be shortly built up after they killed it. We're seeing uh, just some RT harassment by Zups. Doesn't go very far because Gliss comes in, in there with his Glock and just shoots him in the head. We're seeing another push by aliens here into Crossroads. Another concerted effort here. Oh my god, Chicken goes down. Another Gorge down. They are just circling and circling and circling around that armory. I would be too if I saw that many aliens coming in. That RT is going back up. We're going to see another command center uh, probably drop. They are working off six RTs right now, guys. They just took out the RT and computer lab from the aliens. Those two fades. We have two fades on the field now. Those two fades are going to come in, try to take out Gorgeous and Bitey, but they got to be careful, man. Two, three on the brains. Those claws aren't going to do um, as much damage as, as uh, if they had one armor. Um, but they are going to try to push them out of here. Uh, we're seeing... Oh, wow. Big push coming in here. And they want that RT back, guys. They are sitting on one RT, and that is in flight control. This is not, 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 not good um, for Mercury. They are just playing a defensive game right now. As you can see, big fight in Crossroads. And, as I said, that Arc Factory is being built. I wouldn't be surprised if I see a Protolab drop here in Crossroads. That's usually what I see in these types of games. Um... I don't see a protolab in the main base. We see Weapons 3 has started, uh, which is going to help them definitely in the damage. Those two fades coming down to Computer Lab, um, just kind of sneaking about up. Bitey doesn't know that they're there. Um, three fades on the battlefield now. Very good job. Uh, Bitey didn't really have a chance um, at that point. Ventilation RT going down by Wild Chicken, uh, who's playing a Skulk right now. Um, and we're seeing another concerted push. Oh my god, a fade has died on the field from that push in Crossroads. That is going to cost the aliens some... Oh, that is just going to cost them some resources. They are sitting on one RT. A second one's being built, but attacked at the same time. It's only... Uh, it's now 100% grunts, and they are now receiving... Um, resources from it. They do have another one grown now uh, in Crevice, so they're sitting on three, though against the five uh, resource towers that the Marines are sitting on, uh, that's a lot of resource flow to stem against. And another push into Crossroads. This is going to be the battlefield of the night. Uh, oh, and he just kills that, that Skulk as he backs into the phase gate. He probably phased through and didn't even know and was like, where the hell am I? Um, so we're seeing now uh, another push here into Computer Lab. This is what, what we see on this map, guys, uh, both on Aliens and Marines. They, they take them down to one base, uh, and then they just block up uh, they block up the, the entrance and exits on both sides. And then basically it's a vice, and they just close slowly uh, on this vice um, until the team either gives up or just makes a last stand. Over in Crossroads, we're seeing a arc uh, now being pumped out with six RTs. A bunch of arcs are going to pump out a lot. Nice mine usage right there in the entrance there. Uh, Nexel has been uh, nat nano shielded. Uh, those three, uh, those two fades and a skulk are going to take out that phase gate. It's a 21%. It doesn't look like they're going to save it. Oh my god, it's at one and it goes down. What great biting and strafing by Icefelt. Uh, and, but the Marines come back, and you know what, guys? With six resource towers, it's not a big loss uh, for the Marines at this point. Coming in from Crevice, Bitey and Gliss coming down, uh, and they just kill that Harvester. Uh, and the Harvester went down in Computer Lab, obviously, because the uh, Marines have now secured C Computer Lab. Uh, we This is a matter of time before Mercury just gets completely overrun in their base. What a great Marine game and a turnaround for Nexel from the beginning. Another fade has died. Uh, I believe that was Zups, which isn't good. Those uh, those <laughs> arcs are now coming in. Let's take a look from uh, Blink's uh, standpoint. Um, and why is that not working? There we go. Uh, let's take a look from Blink's standpoint right now. We can see him. He's moving back into Crossroads. Uh, just checking out. We're going to go over to uh, Summit Reception. 
Uh, we see those arcs being deployed, and they are taking out that last um, that last RT for the aliens. We're just going to see Blink from his point of view, um, and seeing him come in over on the base. He's in sub access, and they just killed the push that was going on in sub access. Some great shooting there uh, from Bitey. And we're seeing another concerted push in flight control. Garfu um, in there alone. Bitey just went down. Uh, lurks and fades on the field. They have um, two lurks and one fade. Uh, the rest skulks. Um, they don't even using a commander right now. Chicken is dead. I don't know if he's going to get back in. I, I haven't seen him in there much. Uh, another scan dropped by the Marines. Uh, we're seeing now that this is almost over. Nexel is going to beat Mercury. I'm just going to call it now. Um, this is definitely going to happen. We are 20 now minutes into this match, uh, and it's just a matter of time before Mercury goes down. They would have to expand like crazy and push back the Marines um, in order to win this. Um, what's hard about the aliens is that it's not like they can ninja anything far away because they need a cis chain to do that. And those usually get cut right away by the, by the Marines. Uh, whereas the Marines, one sole Marine can turn the tide by ninja, uh, nin, you know, ninjaing a phase gate uh, behind enemy lines. So we see now there's no more RT in Crevice at this point. Uh, aliens still working on one RT, which is not even in their main base, which is over in Computer Lab. They're going to try to save that because that is their only RT left. Uh, as, as In terms of res, uh, 8, 5, 12, 3, and 11, uh, not very good res uh, resources for the alien team. Sub-access is being harassed, but that is not going to go anywhere. And... Fix just gets away through that vent uh, right underneath there, um, which is uh, going to save the team 30 resources for that life form. All right, over in flight control again here. Big fight here. The whole alien team is committed to push them out. You know, I got to give it to Mercury. Oh, my God, the mines. Garfu just takes out Zup's Chicken and Llama. What great mine placement uh, around that armory. Blink comes in to try to get him off, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Oh, my God, it is. Fix goes down, and there is the good game from Mercury. Nexel takes it. So far, they are 1-0. They take it on Summit. What a great, great, great game. Marines win. Nexel takes it over Mercury. All right, guys, so what a great match that we just saw there. Um, we are going to be switching servers uh, for the Switch team. Mercury will be Marines, and uh, Nexel will be Aliens. So we'll be right back. Um, stay tuned for round two, Mercury versus Nexel, right here on Red Dog TV.